Hey there, Mr. Thayer from the Syracuse Academy of Science and Citizenship back with another math lesson. Module 5, lesson 26. We're going to decompose whole number fractions greater than 1 using whole number equivalents. Okay, so what I really want us to understand is when we get that whole number, 1 equals 5 over 5 or 1 equals 7 over 7. So we're starting to understand what those whole number equivalents are. So it's easy when we have that equivalence to 1 because we know the numerator and the denominator are the same. But I want us to kind of get in the idea of I want to see us also when the numbers go up to 2, 3, 4, 5 on the number line and that the, the numerator doesn't match the denominator. It's a little bit higher based on what we are looking at. So I have two examples that I'm going to break down. The first one is we're going to break a number down into sixths from 0 to 2, and then we're going to break a number down um, uh, in fifths from 2 to 4. So we really got to pay attention on the second problem, what's being asked and what's being done here. So first things first, let's take a look at our number line here. Okay? So here's our number line here. We're breaking it down into sixths, and then these are the questions that we are going to answer once we are finished. So the important thing to understand is sixths. Okay? We have to break this into six pieces. Okay, so this first chunk right here, to break this into six pieces, I'm going to go one right here in the middle. And then I'm going to go two more cuts here. And then two more cuts here. So one, two, three, four, five, six. I have six pieces. Okay, do the same thing over here. I'm going to do a cut right in the middle. I'm going to cut down the middle. And then I'm going to cut twice here. To put it in the thirds. And then cut twice over here. To put it in the thirds. I started off nice and neat, and now I kind of get yeah, fix that. I, I gotta fix it. There we go. Okay. So I broke that down into our sixths. All right. So our questions down here want to know what, how zero, zero sixth, one equals how many sixths, and two equals how many sixths. Okay. So we know right here we can go right here. We know that's going to be zero over 6, and then we got 1 over 6, 2 over 6, 3 over 6, 4 over 6, 5 over 6, and then 6 over 6 here, 7 over 6, 8 over 6, 9 over 6, 10 over 6, 11 over 6, and then over here we have 12 over 6, okay? I didn't add every single one in there, but if you feel more comfortable doing that, uh, you can write that out. So the first question says 0 equals how many sixths? Obviously, it equals 0 sixths. And then that fraction will be represented with 0 over 6. Okay? Our next question asked us 1 equals how many sixths? We know that is 6 sixths. Put 6 in there. And then we can write 6 over six all right and if we wanted to we could come up here and draw our six in a number bond and then put six over six one time and that number bond would represent our whole there six over six or one in a number bond fashion let's take a look at the next one our next one says two equals how many six we come over here, we understand that that represents 12 sixths. Okay, 12 sixths. And that fraction will be written 12 over 6. Okay, just taking what the number line is giving me and writing it out. If I wanted to put that into a number bond, I would put 6 here. And I would understand that it is 2. It's 12 over 6. And 12 over 6, the two of those, is what is going to give us that 6 in that case for our 6. Okay? Very simple if you understand the number line and breaking it down. I know a lot of the problems is getting the number line set the first way and understanding where to break it. And then just reading the number line. That's all it is after that is just kind of reading the number line and understanding what's next. All right, let's break down fifths here. 
And what I want you to notice about fifths is this. We're starting at two. Okay? We're starting at two. So that's going to be different. So zero to one, remind you, remember, if we went from zero to one, right, we're in fifths. So five over five is going to equal one. All right? So we're going to have to get to two. We're gonna to have to understand what that the not what the what the uh, denominator is and what the numerator are gonna be. Okay, but first before we get in that, let's break this into fifths. All right, so for fifths, I'm gonna do four cuts. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. So I got five pieces. One, two, three, four. Okay. So for fifths, we know we know that the den the denominator is going to be five here. The denominator is going to be five here. The denominator is going to be five there. We just we're just missing numerators right now. Okay. Then on the last problem we started from zero to one, so it was kind of easy. Now we're starting from the number line on two to three. Okay. So two times five to get that to get that denot or excuse me get that numerator. I want to do two times five, which equals ten. All right, that's 10 over 5. To get my numerator here, I want to go 3 times 5, which is 15. And then here I want to go 4 times 5, which equals 20. If I want to go back in there and label 11, 12, 13, 14 fits or, and fit, fill that all in, I can. Okay? The questions are pretty straightforward. I got 2 fits, 3 fits, and 4 fits. Now I just got to fill it in. So 2 fits, right? represents 10 fifths. And if we were going to write that in fraction form, we would put 10 over 5. Okay? 3 fifths, we just come right over here. 3 fifths equals, how many fifths do we have there? We have 15, 15 fifths. And to put that in fraction form would be 15 over 3. Oh, excuse me, 15 over 5. And then our last problem for 4. 4 equals how many fifths? We know that's going to be 20 fifths. And that fraction will be written 20 over 5. All right? So that is how we decompose whole numbers and work at things that are greater than 1. Okay? These numbers were greater than one, so we had to work those pieces in there and really get to work, okay? This is one of those things, again, I like to say we like to practice. Get into that exit ticket, look at what you have on that number line, and do the best you can. I will provide feedback, and I will talk to you guys soon.